Skivvy, where are we today? We're at Holly Head. Should we go have a look? Kind of. This way. Hi, okay, a bit of a catch up um, on the iPhone. Uh, me and Scoobs, uh, we've been pretty busy lately. I've managed to get away for a couple of weekends in the van to make sure it's all working at this stage of the conversion. We're about a third of the, in, third of the way in, got the bed in, got the insulation and, and all the windows done. And um, so we've been away a couple of times to try it all out and see how it's working. And so far it's been really good. Scoobs has loved the trips. She sees getting in the van like getting into a teleportation machine. You get in, you fall asleep, and then two or three hours later, you wake up somewhere amazing in the countryside. And you enjoy yourself so much, you, you're ready for sleep. Uh, so we've been to Portland, uh, went down there for the windsurfing and for some climbing, met some friends up. That was fantastic. The winds down there were 50 miles an hour. So uh, we really got to use the van in order to escape the winds. And that's where the camp, the, the double seat that I'm sitting on, the swivel double seat from r Camper Solutions really came in useful. We could turn the seat around, make the van into a really big space, a social space, and easily fit five people in here. So it's the thing that I'm really liking at the moment about this uh, conversion is having this, this feel of space. Uh, if you're interested to see um, how I installed the swivel seat, um, just stay watching this episode. I've done a little install video. Uh, so here we are with uh, RJ Camper Solution um, double twist seat with the open top. RJ's have sent me this one. Um, I bought it from them and they've actually said in full disclosure that if I do them a good video, I will uh, get a full refund. So hopefully here goes a good video. We're just gonna do a quick unboxing and then we're gonna, we're gonna put it together. I've got my friend Dean here. He's gonna put it together and we're gonna try it out and see what it looks like in my Volkswagen Crafter. Okay. In the in the first as well. This all looks very professionally uh, finished. Um, let's have a look. First of all, yeah. it's new. Uh, RJ Camper Solutions. Probably, it's good bit of weight in that, I'd say. Uh, and a quick guess, about 25 kilos, might be a bit less. Uh, got the instructions. And yeah, basically the two plates. And what's in here, let's just have a look here. The, the wires here, which is useful for the seat belt. So you don't have to uh, unplug that. This is a plug and play through the uh, center screw nut there. That's dead handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look through the, uh, the guide, all set out in a nice waterproof uh, cover here. And um, yeah, let's see how we get on. Yeah. Okay, so what we're we starting with then? Uh, ignition, is that off? Yep, the ignition's off. Okay, so uh, next instruction is... The uh, seat belt pre-tensioner. Okay. Tiny screwdriver to... The next thing is removing the seat, which is the four bolts. Handy thing here in the car is that all the bolts are welded on, so we're not losing the nuts anywhere. So it's that back. You okay there? Yep, right. Good. Okay. There we go. Right. So that's that all in place. Hey, how are we doing so far, Dean? 
Um, all right, it was probably took about 10 minutes to actually get the seat off itself. Uh, it's very easy, straightforward and simple. Slide in. Uh, when you're putting the bolts in, do not tighten them up all the way over the you you Speak louder, the seagull's louder than you. Oh, yeah. uh, when you're putting the bolts in, don't tighten, tighten them all the way, otherwise uh, you may come off centre on the holes when placing the other box, bolts. So just put them in finger tight and once you're in finger tight. You crank it up afterwards. Yeah, crank it up afterwards. Cool. So Next thing we're going to do is uh, put the seat back into position using the original bolt. Handy to have the tools, eh, Dean? Yeah. Just uh, now putting the bolts on to secure the seat back to the swivel frame. Now, when I asked about the height difference of the seat, um, John said that the seat would be about seven inches higher. Uh, I've just done a measure, and you can see that it's higher there. I've just done a measure, and it seems about six centimeters higher. Um, which is not a problem because you get lots of space in sprinters and crafters above. What I do plan to do, I'll just pan up here, is I'm going to put cupboards where that um, the rest of that bulkhead is. I'm going to put some cupboards in there. So just securing the, uh, the seat now in place. And it'll be very soon that we can get to try this. So I'm going to go and get the princess so she can tell us our, her verdict. Uh, princess being Scooby. She can tell us her verdict on the uh, swivel seat when it actually uh, is in place and working. Okay, so we have the seat fully installed at the moment and uh, we're gonna see how long it takes to um, turn it around. One man, it takes to turn it around. So Dean's just now gonna unscrew the eight bolts that we have here. You need, you need the eight bolts to secure the chair in driving position and also to stop any clatter vibrations between the two plates. So it's about a minute to take the screws out there. You come into the back here now and then do that little turn the other way, yeah, that, that's it, yeah. And then swiggle, watch your head on the, on the GoPro there and turn the seat round. Yeah, get that seat back around the back. Fantastic. Okay, and then if you lift that up, and I think you only need to put maybe three screws in. So, so we're on two minutes now. Are you going to put four in or three? Okay. Very easy to turn the seat round, that's for sure. There's not a problem of swiv sw swiveling it round. Yeah. Very easy. It's, I think it's just the time taken to, to screw the, uh, the wing nut, plastic wing nuts in. That's four, but it's a bit Okay, let's go with that anyway, that's fine. Yeah. So that we're, on, that we're on three minutes then there to, to put four nuts in. Okay, so three minutes to turn it round. Easy to turn it around, just a case of the screws that take a bit of time. We've put the seat in now, Dean, and uh, you spun it round. What, what do you think of the seat? Comfy, could do with a step, but uh, I'm six foot and I'm still off the floor. You're six foot and you're still off the floor. Yeah, I've seen people do put steps in um, once they've finished the van. They put a little step in there and it can be a cubby hole for shoes or something like that. Yeah, 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 but uh, apart from that, it's really simple to put in. Yeah, it's simple to put in and twisting it around, the mechanics just sort of floats around, I thought. Yeah, it just glides, it just glides. Yeah, yeah. and it makes the van so much bigger, I mean... Uh, yeah, I'm sitting back here with it just like, wow. That's the seat secure in that position. You can see that it's uh, it takes up a lot of the... Uh, yeah, it pretty much goes back uh, as far as it needs to go. And uh, just to see what the view is inside here, look, there's Dean sitting there. This is a medium wheelbase crafter. And uh, just get that in focus. And uh, yeah, it feels like you get plenty of room, yeah, to be fair. It feels nice and, nice and big. And this is the uh, lounge area just there. It's just going to be you and the dog. you got a lot of room. What, for the European tour, me and Scoops? Yeah, yeah. Well, now you've mentioned the dog, we need to get the princess here and see what she thinks of it. Okay, Scoops, here we go. Here we go. So, the princess has arrived. Scooby. 
and uh, we're going to see what she thinks of her suit. She's a little bit uh, full of energy because she's been in a cage whilst we've been doing this. But uh, what do you think, Scoops? Is this the new seat? Don't start eating it. She likes it. Well, I think she likes it. She's ta tail's wagging. This is your seat when we go on our tour, Scooby Dee Adventures in uh, in uh, Europe. What do you think? There's the thumbnail right there. Do you like it? Or do you want to walk? Is that why you've got your yeah. lead in your mouth? That's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail? Yeah. Yeah. How long do you think it would have taken, Dean? Uh, half an hour, 45 minutes tops. Yeah. Uh, it, all it is, it's four bolts out, uh, take a clip out, eight bolts back in, put a clip back in, that's yeah. all it is, it's yeah. really easy. So as long as you've got the tools? As, yeah, as long as you've got the tools, <laughs> you don't have any problems, half an hour. Great, thanks very much for helping Dean. No worries. Cheers, bye. But um, as we started moving the um, swivel seat, it actually managed to catch it somehow and uh, cut it off. So we've, it's delayed us 30 minutes while we're trying to get this pretensioner back on. Because if we don't, obviously the um, airbag uh, fault light comes up on the... Um, mal airbag malfunction comes up on the dash. That's what I've got at the moment. So it's actually quite important. Um, so hopefully we can get it back working, tape it on, and I may have to yeah. buy a new one in the future if it's uh, if it's a bit loose. Yeah. The, thing, the other thing that I like about this seat is you can still access inside the pits really easily. So it's just virtually the same as your normal Volkswagen or Sprinter seat. Just lift it up and there you go. And even when it's turned round it's exactly the same. So if you're in camper mode you can access what you've got there.